Hi, this is a contraption I built for a recent science fair. It's a simple adding machine made out of connects. By simple, I mean it can add 1 plus 0 equals 1, 0 plus 1 equals 1, and 1 plus 1 equals 2. That may not sound like much, but everything a computer does eventually boils down to binary, that is, ones and zeros. In my computer, ones and zeros are represented by pushes and pulls. Like any computer, my computer has inputs, these two bars, and outputs, these two flags. This is the ones flag, and this is the twos flag. When I push in these bars, the computer adds the number of bars I push in and raises the corresponding flag. For instance, if I push in just one bar, say the top bar, it raises the ones flag. The same if I just push in the bottom bar. But if I push in two bars, both at once, it raises the twos flag and the ones flag remains down. My computer is built out of logic gates. Logic gates take one or more inputs and they create an output value based on those inputs. The NOT gate is an inverter. It takes a push and outputs a pull, or vice versa. If either input of the OR gate is a push, it outputs a push. Otherwise, the output is a pull. The AND gate will output a push only when both inputs are a push. This schematic diagram shows how the three kinds of logic gates are connected to form my adding machine. The logic gates in your computer at home are made from transistors, which act like switches for electricity. In addition to electricity and connects, you can design hydraulic adding machines that use water valves, or calculators that use strings and pulleys. Mechanical computers are not near as small or fast as electronic computers, so don't expect to find one in your local computer store. It's okay, let's not, all right, here she goes. And this is wonderful Lucky. Aren't you a lucky kitty? No, no, don't break the machine! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she's such a cutie. She's saying, I thought I killed it. I thought I killed it. It's back. Oh, no. <laughs> Here. I have an idea.